like but that is on its way and we're like it's not about a wedding or anything like we're gonna go to the court but it's I hope it's it don't, hard to explain. I it okay. like, I could look on off screen I could tell y'all it's not it's not a big deal. Like if I told you you'd be like I understand but oh, I'm, no. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give you some advice take it from somebody who did do it. Me and my wife waited 10 years before we got married. Damn. And once we did it, we what? sat there and said, why didn't we do this sooner? Yeah, and no, we it's... Put, I, and we pushed I, it back for... The you know why you ain't, it took you 10 years? Don't do that. No, <laughs> we're not going to compare the two years yeah, to the years. Come, come, come on, Sweeney. Come on, Sweeney. Come on, No, man. I know exactly why it took you us ready to be tied down. No, <laughs> no, I know exactly why it took well, us 10 I'm, years. I'm we kept, curious. If you you man down. We kept saying, okay, after after you finish school, all right, after we get this job, all right, after we move here, all right, That's after we do this, and we just kept pushing it back, and then when we finally, now the last thing we said that we were going to do before we got married was move to Dallas, and you know what I mean, but once we moved to Dallas, that's when we got, I proposed to her, we got married, but once we did it, we was like, damn. What's the difference now than, than when we did it? Then we could have done it 10 years ago. Why did we oh, wait? And what, and what really made me realize that what really made me realize that was that I went to a friend's wedding this uh, last year in September. And I was mm-hmm. talking to his mom and them. And she was like, and we told him, was like, yeah, we've been together for, what is it? It's 14 years now? I think it's 14. No, it's 20, mm-hmm. 13. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, she, and the first thing she said was, she was like, the first thing she said was, and the first thing she said was that you can't claim marriage over that period of time. We can only claim the last three years. Yeah, and it fucked me up. Cause I'm like, damn, man, I would have been one of those people that got on this panel and tell y'all, man, I've been with my wife for 14 years. You, you still you can. You still can. Like, Frank, we will say, lady, that real quick. Quick question: If it all fell apart today, would you run and go get married fast again, or would you do something else? Give me one second. <laughs> you ask me or her? <laughs> you. Exactly. exactly. I'm gonna tell you this. Like you years. That's I'm, why gonna be, I'm gonna be real with you. If this don't work out, this I'm, exactly. Man, I ain't, oh, I ain't man. doing it no more. If this exactly. don't work out. It's over with. Man, God, boy. I'm about to. I'm about to hit that gym. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> City boys up. Mm-hmm. I was gonna say, real quick. For example, my husband proposed to me, um, like. I think it was like a Monday. We got married on a Friday in the courthouse. It don't take long. You just go. <laughs> it's very, it's very simple. And it's no uh, different. I I disagree with all of you about the dating with the purpose. Um, I think everybody's dating with a purpose. But what's the purpose? The purpose is the dudes want the buns and the women want the funds. And that's what they're dating for. Guys are dating to smash. Women are dating for cash. That's what they're doing out here right now. If you, if you look at it, that's exactly what they're doing. But aren't you going to okay. get ass and cash when you're in a relationship anyway? So why yeah, not just wait they're too, until... They're, they're, a lot of folks today are too inept to understand that. Because you got to realize, when you start talking about a long-term relationship and you start talking about marriage... Now you're talking about responsibilities. Now you're talking about some, especially marriage, something that you just can't easily get out of. I mean, you could try to easily get out of it, but there's some, there's a whole process you got to go through. So it's different. Yeah. Well, I, guess, I guess you will be right that the purpose, they are dating with a purpose. The purpose is asking and cash. And cash. I don't even, I don't even think it's that though, because how many chicks are getting money out of the people they're dating. I think that both sides are in it just for the attention. Mm. Think, what? How do you think what people do Validation. That's what he's saying. Yeah, think about it. What people do online is they, they don't want one like from one person. They want a bunch of likes from a bunch of people. And they do the same thing when they're dating. They want a bunch of people to like them. That's why you get people who will get online and they will make sure that like like women. They will make sure they dress half naked around dudes because they want a bunch of dudes to tell them they're pretty. But I always tell people, if you're pretty, you show your face. You ain't got to show your ass. I always found that odd. Mm-hmm. But like the like, the people who tell them, there are people who are in relationships right now. And I'm going to tell y'all, that, and, and many of y'all might know some. They're in relationships right now. 
And they get more validation from somebody online telling them that they're pretty than the person in their real life telling them they're pretty. You want to know why I know that? Because they'll spend more time online than with the person in real life. These are facts. If you got, if you're in a relationship with somebody and you can say, I've spent more time with people online than I have with that person in real life, you just prove what people are dating for. People are dating because they constantly need that refill of validation. They constantly need somebody else. Sex with multiple women in a week feel better than sex with one woman multiple times. Why? Because if I'm having sex with one woman multiple times, I feel like she may be settling. Maybe I'm settling. But if a bunch of women want to have sex with me, well, that's validation. Same thing with these women. If a bunch of men want to take me out, she can go brag. Last week, this guy went me to this restaurant. This guy, it's a validation of I'm important and people want me. That's it. There's nothing else that people doing. Is I call it DNA. It's dick and attention. <laughs> that's deep. That's attention is deep. The number one currency. People are not dating for anything that we always try to make these shows and act like people are trying to date to marry and stuff like that. And like I always tell women, oh, not always tell women, but you can look at it like when women say they're engaged and they've been engaged a long time. If a man want to marry you, he going to marry you and the woman ain't going to say, let's wait. Let's just be real. If y'all two are in love and you say, let's get married next month, ain't nobody going to say, well, let's wait two years. No, they're going to go wait. ahead. Typically, a man is the one putting that thing off. And when I'm putting marriage off, it's because I don't want you, but I want to keep sleeping with you. That's what I do. I've been engaged. I've been engaged a lot. Shoot, I've been engaged several times. How many rings did you buy? Rings from Amazon.com. They look good and they cheap. No, you know, have I mean, you ever I been know, married? I you sweat it. I, I was don't believe that. Have boxes. you ever been married? That would rings from me. They can fuck around and put them together and form Voltron. They could. <laughs> have you ever been married? Hell no. <laughs> Red flag. <laughs> Yeah, How man. women women brag about not getting want to be married all the time? Fantasy, come Thank on, you. I gotta be the same. Come on, fantasy, you gotta be oh, the same. It is a red flag. Get I'm I'm I've been engaged plenty of times, and you've never been married. It's a red flag. Yeah, it's a red flag. Doesn't let you know I'm not gonna marry. I'm gonna get you all exactly. Way to the He's gonna quit. waste your time. That's a lot of engagement. Still time. You still got something out of it. Well, wait a minute. If you she say you're gonna waste time, you've been married, you've been divorced. Apparently, you wasted your time and you wasted. No, the I want to be married again, so I'm gonna get married again. I'm marriage minded. Okay, so he was married. Be a serial marrier. I'm not a serial marrier. No, I'm saying, but you I'm not gonna be, be perpetually that. single. Well, no. If the end result is you're saying the guy's wasting your time if he don't get married to you, cool. Yeah. That guy married you. He didn't even waste your time. 